In this video, I want to talk about how to write uh, the formula for a quadratic pattern, uh, or it's also it can be an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so it can be used both for arithmetic sequence or quadratic number pattern. So here, let's read this problem, which is very interesting. Each year at Christmas, Jamie's grandmother gave him five dollars plus two dollars for each year of his age. So this is the table. In the first year, he got seven dollars, which is five plus two. The second year, he got nine. The third year, he got eleven. So in the fourth year, he would have got, if this is increasing by two, so he would have got thirteen. So for the fifth year, he would have got fifteen, and so on. So the formula is generally uh, is actually given to you. So in the nth year, he would have got uh, five. So in the nth year, he would have got 5 plus 2 times the number of years, so 2n. So the next column is about the total amount Jamie's grandmother gave. So in the first year, she gave, so let me use a different color, she gave, say, $7. In the next year, she gave the 7 plus 9. So in the second year, she got 7 plus 9, which is 16. In the third year, she gave 7 plus 9 plus 11. Okay, that is what? That is 27. So this is basically your T1. Let's call this T1. Let's call this T2. And let's call this T3. So if you continue, I hope you see the pattern. In the nth year, she would get, uh, or J uh, Jamie's grandmother would have given 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus, you can put a dot, 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 plus the last, which is 5 plus 2n. And that, let's call that tn. So the question is, how would you find the formula? Calculate, give the equation to calculate the total amount Jamie's mother had given him in the nth Christmases, or in n Christmases. So after n number of years, what's the total amount Jamie's mother or grandmother gave? So let me write Tn. So let me give you an even uh, an understanding. When I say T1, T1 is the total amount Jamie's mother gave in the first year. That is 7. T2 is the total amount Jamie's mother gave, grandmother gave, up to the second year. So that it would be 7 plus 9. And so on. And T3 is, I'm again just repeating for those who does it for this, for whom it doesn't make sense, so 7 plus 9 plus 11. So let me write Tn in two different ways. So Tn I can write as 1, 7, uh, 7 plus 9, I need a space here, plus 11, plus, it will continue, I need plus something here, plus something here, plus something. So in the nth year, we know she gave 5 plus 2n. So in the previous year, she would have given, if you look backwards, in the previous year, she would have given $2 less. So writing that, in the previous year, she would have given $2 less than this, which would be 3 plus 2n. And even in the previous year, she would have got one, or she would have given 1 plus 2n. So writing the same pattern in a reverse order, I can say tn is 5 plus 2n plus 3 plus 2n plus 1 plus 2n and plus, writing this in a reverse order, this would be 11 plus 9 plus 7. So I've just write, written Tn in two different ways. One starting from 7 to 5 plus 2n and Tn the same in the reverse order is 5 plus 2n up to 7. So let's add them. So if you add them, if you add the top and the bottom, this would be Tn plus Tn. Tn plus Tn is equal to, so 
So I want you to see this, look at this like this. I hope you can see the divisions. If you look at it like this, I can say, well, this, if you add these two, 7 plus 5 is 12, so this will be 12. This will be 12 plus 12 plus 2n. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Plus 9 plus 3 is again 12. 12 plus, so this is one group. 12 plus 2n plus this is 11 plus 1, which is 12 plus 2n plus dot 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 and if you look here this will again be 11 plus 1 which is 12 plus 2n and this would again be 12 plus 2n so let me drag this slightly to this plus 12 plus 2n so how many lots of 12 plus 2n do you have so if you look at the left hand side this is 2 times tn tn plus tn is 2 times tn is how many lots of n 12 plus 2n do you have? Well, you have 12, sorry, n lots of 12. So this is, you can write like this, this is n lots, n lots, n lots of 12 plus 2n, which is same as writing n times 12 plus 2n. Okay, so let's simplify this a little. So this is 2 times 2n, sorry, 2, two times tn is n bracket. If you factor the 2 out, you can factor the 2 out like this. If you factor 2 out, this will be 6 plus n. So you can divide both sides by 2. If you divide this side by 2, you can also divide this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So lo and behold the total tn is n times 6 plus n so we need to check our formula so what we are saying is if so let's check this formula whether this works here so the formula that we are saying is in the say in the fourth year or let's say the third year she the total amount she gave was three times so three this is n for three uh, 6 plus 3 which is 27 and it does work okay so if someone is asking you how much did she give in the in on on the 18th birthday okay on 18th Christmas of Jamie what's the total amount that his grandmother gave that would be say 18 you have to just put 18 in place of n so 18 times 6 plus 18 which is 18 times 24 18 times 24 whatever that is so let me get a calculator so let me make it let me make it a standard calculator so this is how much this is 18 18 times 24 equal 432 so in the 18th year she got 432 or he she gave 432 dollars in the 18th year so we can say in the 18th year Jamie's grandmother gave 432 dollars